Right, it gives me great pleasure to introduce episode 95 of the lovely fan roundtable with my wonderful uh, co-fans, or whatever you want to be called, whatever collective we're in. Uh, Windy John, the wonderful Windy John. Uh, George, he bangs the drum, Gasson. It's been a great week for Hastings. We Now this is, I think this is uh, out of six games unbeaten, five wins. Lots of good stuff to talk about. But first, gentlemen, how you been? Yep. Not bad. Happy. Good. Yeah. All good. Happy. Happy. Yeah, happy. Good stuff, isn't it? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely knackered. To be honest, but we are here. We move on. Yeah, we're all knackered. This is true. Every but... game for George is an away game, see, isn't it? <laughs> There's a bit of travelling, doesn't you, George? Bit of travelling. Yeah. Just, just, yeah, just knackered. Yeah. It's yeah. Sorry. Good one. Can't miss it though. You can't miss the game. Not especially not at the moment. It's nah. too good. Yeah. yeah. That's been good. Good value, right, in chap. So, where should we start? We've got a we've got a few uh, wins to talk about here. Jet George still would, a bit Kingstonian. He was there when he yeah. Said. I would say about Kingstonian. Um, one um, good ground. I know quite a few have been there before. Tooting and Mitchum's ground. Um, quite quite a good setup they had there. Um, not many home fans. And I did ask a Kingstonian lot online because they took a load of Bogner the week after. Why there weren't any of them. At home, they said no one wants to go to Tooted, so no, they're not getting any home fans. <laughs> at their there you go. I said, Well, that's that's interesting. That bodes um, well for the future, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah, well, but obviously, we won 3 0, and mm. Kingstonian looked look shit to be honest on the, on the night, but then they go and put four past Bogner, so maybe yeah. it was just a really good result, and we were really good. Mm. Um, and we've been looking, I was looking with Carrie actually with some of the wins we've had, and then how the opposition have done afterwards. And it looks like Gary's done some coaching of the opposition teams and they started playing better after we've played them. But other teams are going on a run after after they play us. Yeah. After we give them a bit of a football in schooling. But yeah, just... Uh, but actually, Gary, to be fair, said he wasn't that happy after the Kingstonian game because there was, were periods where we weren't in total control. But we were a good value for our 3-0. We were a much better side than them. Yeah. Um, yeah Glad lovely. of you, Malcolm, to join us, sir. Evening. Mm. We're just we're, we're just banging on about Kingstonian. One okay. other thing about it. One other thing about it. It was great to see the wonderful Kenny Pogue behind the goal with us at Kingstonian oh, as well. Nice one. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Well, you know why he yeah. was there though. Taking that, Sammy to work. Yeah, he was taking Sammy to work. They're off on a night shift after that game. <laughs> Proper Broke. non-league, that is, mate. Non-league. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, Joe, quickly about Kingstonian. Uh, nice goals. Yeah, stewarding. Right. Should we talk about the stewarding? Uh, Howie, <laughs> Howie, who didn't make, who was going to be on today, uh, couldn't make it. Uh, be that what you think. Who knows why? But uh, maybe it was because we we're about to talk about his love interest, the steward, who he became close friends with. And we did sing at one point uh, that he possibly could be on a list, a possible even <laughs> sex offenders list. Um I don't know if we want to sort of stretch that one out, George, or not. I don't want to stretch anything out with a sex offender, mate. So <laughs> I'm going to go with a no there. <laughs> what I do want to actually talk about is Ryan Worrell's goal, which has got is made my shortlist for uh, for goal of the season. So um, he, we know he can hit him from distance. He, he you know, as as these strikes and he couple of times a season. Um, and yeah, what absolute top top goal from Ryan Worrell. Yeah, oh, it was a beauty. Curled in, curled in from about well, I don't know. That's 25, good. 30 yards. I don't know. It's quite far out, isn't it? Yeah. No, it's good to see the footage, isn't it? You know, won't be seeing too much of that on Saturday, but it sounds a bit. <laughs> <laughs> no, we won't. No, um, and obviously, Freddie Leg. Is that Freddie Leg's first goal for us? Or has he scored before? I think he's oh, I'll have a look. Oh, well, gone. I think he has. First goal this season. So. Oh, okay. Good work from Smith to uh, set that one up for him. Um, and it's nice to see Smith get a goal. Yeah, he took it well, didn't he? Yeah. Looks like he's got gaining in confidence. Malk, your thoughts on the uh, Kingstonian game? Well, I'll just go for it quickly. Um, yeah, yeah, it was. <laughs> I, I didn't think it was much of a game. I didn't. Um, the goals were okay and all that, but yeah, I thought it was um, a rubbish game. The picture was a bit bobbly, wasn't it? It wasn't great. Yeah, um, it was, yeah. But yeah, yeah, we got it's that time of year where you don't worry about performances and just get wins, isn't it? So. Is it a grass pitch? Yeah. 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 I just wondered because, well, you know, when we had the playoffs years ago, it was like, it was like a beach. <laughs> There's no grass on it at all. It's just sand. 
So it sounds like they've still got problems then if it's bumping and bobbling around. Yeah, nice, it's little, nice ground though, isn't it? The two yeah. ends, so the ends are really good. And then they've got quite a big stand down the side, if I remember. And then the, yeah, other, yeah. the other side's bare, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was, it was pretty well. much, it was, it was odd though that you, you either had to go up in the lift or go out the players' oh, yeah. tunnel to get yeah. to the ground. You know, get in the ground. It was, um, yeah. it was pretty weird that. I've, I've never been to a ground where you had to do that, go through the players' tunnel to get to the pitch. Well, you, you, you're usually with the players as an agent, aren't you? you usually do that. <laughs> no, I don't get that privilege. I'll just move them on, you know, get them in there and <laughs> move on to the next one. Yes. Well, what's funny, at the end of the game, about five minutes after full time, uh, the all the lights were turned off at the ground whilst Kev Towner was still in the disabled loop. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh dear. Is that, is that why you weren't? Is that why you weren't there on Tuesday? Please tell me. Well, they, and their steward, their steward was like, not not the sex offender one. He was actually being helpful at the end. But the one at the tunnel was like, come on then. And I was like, all right, I'll just tell my disabled mate to piss faster. Like, <laughs> well done. It's just, uh, it's just like, come on, man. Like, yeah. So. so talking to their stewards just quickly, it was quite funny that they, I think their stewards for the um, the two in is it who plays there again? Is it two in the Mitchum? Two in the Mitchum. Yeah, yeah. Right, that's but they, they one team. <laughs> yeah, they they steward for that team, and they obviously do as well do Kingstonian, and that, and they were a little bit hostile to begin with, but afterward they said, look, this lot of crap. You're going to win four nil. Basically, you could do whatever you like, and they did look. Because we let, let's talk about the chant. They both look like the ones out of Home Alone. So, can, uh, George, can we remind you? Can we remind the the listeners or watchers uh, what the song was we sung at? Oh, was it it? Kevin Go McAllister is coming for you, isn't it? It's yes, Kevin yeah. McAllister is coming for you, which they thought was quite funny. But um, moving on, moving on. So we we move on to obviously Cray on Saturday. Uh, Popey getting a goal, uh, just getting that ball through. You know, wasn't the greatest game, but. Three points. Some grinding them out, aren't they? It was a quite a similar game and how we scored to the away game, actually, where it just needed someone to have a shot from distance and test their keeper. And just like the away game, I think it was Hasler actually shooting at the away game, but I think it was Ryan Worrell yes. for the home game. Had a shot from distance. I think pretty, we're going to get... Yeah, similar. now Ryan's got that goal. Yeah, now Ryan's got that goal at Kingstone, and I think we're going to get a lot of Ryan Wall shooting from distance yeah. for a bit. <laughs> um, and he's, he's had a go, and it's been parried away again. The keeper didn't look very, very sure at all. No, so, he's not. Although, he although he had the ponytail, he's no David <laughs> Seaman. <laughs> that that goalie, he, he had marvellous hair, didn't he? Oh, it was wonderful, wasn't it? It was David Seaman, florid David Seaman hair, that was. Yeah. Um, anything else from that performance, other than three points, anything you want to add to that? Again, thought we were good good value for the for the, for the three points, actually. And we defended really well towards the end of the game when a good team like Crayer is going to come on to you a little bit. So, yeah, um, I think, I think... absolutely fantastic result. You could feel that there was a bit of a tension in the last 10 minutes when Golding came on. You just thought, oh, he's not going to do it, is he? <laughs> I just had this horrible feeling that something was going to happen there and they were going to equalise. But no, they, they did well. They defended well. And uh, good second half, I thought. I quite enjoyed that game. You know, it wasn't yeah. a, look, won a great deal of quality about, but it was a, it was a proper game of football. I quite mm. enjoyed it. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Quite a big gate again, wasn't it? What was it, about eight? It? Yeah, under, but that wasn't bad because there was quite a lot going on in the town during during that day, wasn't there? Well, Fat Tuesday stuff going on and all around festivals around the town. So I thought that was quite a, quite a decent result um, result for the for the attendance, really. Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. Right there, we have got nothing else about Cray. I'm sure. Remember, we uh, stayed a bit afterwards. It was um, decent in the bar afterwards. And um, well, we'll move on to Bows and Pitsy then. So two nil. Um, a, a lovely goal from Jay Kelly, which uh, was quite funny. I, I've said I said this after it happened, but um, Jay Kelly was whoever he grabbed player wise. He went lovely goal. It was <laughs> he, uh, it was very funny. It's great to see. Uh, I felt it was going to be more of a defender that was going to get a goal in terms of breaking them down. It was going to be pa- you're going to be really patient. I wasn't particularly patient. I, I won't lie. Um, uh, but just nice to see a ball go in the net. Mm. Yeah, I thought I'd just start worrying in the first half. I didn't I didn't felt. We tested the keeper very much, did we? In the first, oh look, I think Norrie had a good shot, didn't he? he? Tipped over in the first half. I thought it was second half, but it, it, you could be right. We'll yeah, ask him hopefully when he comes on. No, nah, definitely first half he had a shot. I think it was the only one on target. I think in the first half I remember. Oh, I think Smithy had one as well. But uh, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, looking good. And it, Sammy's goal was a good one. <laughs> 
but that, that, don't matter how it gets in. That number five for them, who I felt had a very good game. Yeah, he's a big player, wasn't he? And he, he literally helped it into the net, which so I thank I thank that. And and their goalie, well, he was crap. He, he, was, he couldn't yeah. kick the ball. Nah. I don't know it, what, I don't know whether he had an injury or something, but the first half he wouldn't do that. Second half it was <laughs> might as well have been playing rugby. What, what, why wouldn't they? I don't understand why no one wanted to kick. You know, like usually yeah, someone's take, got a crap kick, get yeah. his offender to kick it. But yeah. it, it was like remember those old cheap footballs you had as a kid that you'd hit it and it would banana. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the tiny floater he used to go. Yeah. Yeah. It, it was like that, wasn't it? it? Yeah, it was all over the place. He, he was had after touch on it and everything. It was. Um, he was getting that Ronaldo dip on the ball when he does the free kicks and he hits the uh, hits the point in the ball where the air goes in and it just that, again, that dip. But but it was you, you don't really want that from a goal kick, do you? So it was poor. And the other ones were going out left and right. I don't think I've ever seen kicking that bad. And it's just just sort of strange. It, it just puts it. you under pressure, doesn't it, all the time? Mm. If you if you're having that, if you're if they're struggling, yeah, they're just going to be under the cosh all the time. But with them. Um, speaking to John Meany after the game, he said that they stay in games for quite a long time and it's towards the end of the game, you've got to be really, really patient. Um, we were patient and we we didn't give away anything silly because if you give away a goal against them, you know, they give them something to defend for. We yeah. could have been in the bother, but we, we stayed strong with that and, and took our chances in the end. And we got, I think, something like nine goal scorers, different goal scorers in February alone. So goals are coming from all sorts of places. Which is really, really nice. And I think we've had, co- I think that's comedy goal of the season, though, so far. Sam Adams. Yeah. It's brilliant. That backspin he put on that was just amazing. <laughs> that Beautiful. Yeah. I'm sure yeah, we can the purpose. <laughs> yeah. Thought, uh, Jake Elliott got man in the match, didn't he? As well as the goal, I thought he had a blinding go. Yeah, he did. He, yeah, very good. Well deserved. Very sure. Well, that whole back line's been playing really well. I mean, Malk, obviously, your son. Uh, at the back, it, you know, they're, they're doing a grand job. I mean, all right, yeah. you know that they, you know, they had a bit of a blip, didn't they? When they, mm. um, you know, they went a long time uh, with clean sheets, and then they had a bit of a blip where they were sort of leaking a few goals, um, and now it seems to come back again, doesn't it? They've fallen, they've all come back on form. I think Brefo, um, Brefo's come back on form. I think he dipped in form a bit. I know he had a lot of things with uni going on. Um, and I think he was struggling to... It's women, it's women get... trouble, wasn't it? It was women trouble. Go on, well, tell me. yeah. The women, it's always them. Yeah. It's, uh... <laughs> I think it's more the uni with uh, Brefo. <laughs> um, but yeah, he does a lot for the church and that sort of thing, doesn't he? So, you know, I think he was uh, he was just That's feeling the played. pressure a little bit. But um, I think his uni is finishing now, or finished, and... Um, you know, you have to have all these end of term things which he was struggling to get done. And uh yeah, he's come back on form, which is good to see. Yeah. I think I think Kane Penn's been consistent all oh, season. Yeah, you know, he's my uh player of the season still yeah. so far. I can't see anyone overtaking that. Um yeah, and Jake Jake's dipped in and out a little bit, and he, you know, but he's uh, he's starting to find his form again. Yeah, I think there's a few players are, aren't they? Yeah. Uh, I think Gary's um timing with subs is so good at the minute as well. And not that's not taking anything away from anybody who's going off either. I mean, both Ben and Ollie, especially, they both worked their socks off, didn't they, last night? And then he just he timed it just right, take them off and freshen the legs up and bang, two goals. Yeah, he, he don't leave it too long, does he? No, that's the thing. He, he, when that was he... Aggie's downfall. Aggie used to leave it to the last 10 minutes and it was, you know, a bit too late by then. But, you know, but now I thought Freddie looked good when he came on. Got him up, bolt up, and good. he's put on some. Decent muscle, wasn't he, over the last 12 months? Where's that come? Oh, he... <laughs> yeah, good luck. Yeah. yeah. No, it's good. Looking good. George, anything? Uh, no, just another another enjoyable evening at, at Pilot Fields. Um, it's been a lot. Love, I love Tuesday nights, and we've got one more one more big Tuesday night league game that we left Enfield. against Enfield. Oh, yeah. So, something to look forward to in a couple of weeks' time. Yeah. That's uh, the rearranged game. Yeah. Okay. Yes. A couple of results went our way last night as well, didn't they? Yeah, Enfield lost 3 0 at Folkestone. Louis Collins getting a goal. Yeah, I noticed that. <laughs> um, That's why we sent him uh, there. Yeah, Agent Agent Collins on the case there. Mm. Uh, definitely, definitely sent him there. <laughs> That's why Mark had to leave there because he didn't want to disclose about that, his, um, his activities. Yeah, I mean, in terms of Bowser and Pitsy, I mean, it was uh, it was definitely a banana skin that could have been easily, we could easily, if we weren't as solid, uh, lost that game. Yeah. I've, I think Bowser Pitsu could not hit a barn door 
though. I mean, I some of their efforts were. I mean, they, they were careful what you say, Chris. We still got to play them again this season. Yeah, I don't care. But, they, but, they, they had a couple of players up front are quite nippy, though, weren't they? Especially well, they were the quick, staff. yeah. Like I say, they didn't have anyone who could shoot. Which, well, they were shooting from far too far out as well. Far, okay. you, you, obviously, they they're struggling. So, yeah. I mean, what, what did you at the old Bowers and Pitsy uh, shooting, Malk? <clears throat> Quite uh, entertaining. I got kicked out then, so I don't know what the conversation was. I've just come back in. Yeah, no, we were talking about you. Yeah, no, we, we were saying you. we were saying that you you sent Louis Collins to Folkestone to score for them to beat. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, it was all you're doing. Well, yeah, yeah, but, but he wasn't he wasn't doing it with us. So I send it off, I'd send him off elsewhere. So you know, and the uh, budget cuts and all that, he, he just weren't willing. So I've got to go where I can get the money in. Yeah, fair enough. But you got a handling fee, yeah? Yeah, oh, of yeah, course, yeah. Okay. I, I won't do you anything without a handling fee. Yeah. Ah. Oh, hello, we've got Nori getting on. Oh, hello, right. Nori. He was one that kicked me off, Nori. I had a word with him. How do you know? Oh, he does it. That's what he does. He kicks you off? Yeah. His, his missus might kick him off, though, because he's up to negotiate this. Hey, Nori. Here he is. Hello. Uh, how we doing, Nori? We're up? Yeah, I'm all right. Yeah, good, How are you? Good. Yeah. Uh, all right. Yeah, you're right. All right. Nice evening. Did you have a nice day with the with the loved one? Yeah. Yeah. So how long <laughs> you got? How long have you got before you <laughs> before it turns into a bad day? <laughs> what are you eating on, Nori? <laughs> yeah, I do. Actually. Yeah, don't sit there in that hoodie, mate. What are you eating on? I have it on. I'm just cold as well. Don't, wow. don't take don't take any abuse off Malk anyway. Christ He's a wonder. I've got to give him some. Oh, have you? All right. Yeah. Well, thanks for coming on, uh, Nori. Just well, no we're just talk, we're just talking about you know obviously the turnaround in form, the runner games. What's that? Six, uh, six undefeated, five wins in a row. Um, yeah. a lot, you know the last few games in particular, like yourself. Um, uh, you know, I have to eat humble pie. I was, I was like, oh, you know, kind of not really, uh, uh, you know, not bigging you up and. And to be honest, like particularly like yeah, last uh, last night's game, like you were all over the park, you, yeah. like lots of different like uh, runs. Uh, you, you you really turned it round, mate, and it's fantastic the amount of work you do. What what what's changed? What do you think's changed from the kind of type with the, like Haringey? Remember that Haringey defeat where it was a bit lackluster? What's 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 changed from then? Well, for everyone or for me? Uh, well, well, Every, everyone, the team, the yeah, team. for team. Um, I don't think. I don't think much has changed. A couple of games we got we got a bollocking from Dazamino, but nothing's changed. Everyone's together. It's just mm. starting to click now. It's, I I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. It's just everything's going right. Whereas before, at times we needed a bit of luck. We didn't have that luck, but now we don't need luck, and we're just we're pushing through. I think it's the same as last season when. We around this sort of time we start picking it up and we won the league. So I think it's the same thing. Just everyone's together. Are you saying we won the league? We're going to win the league now, Nori? Yeah. Yeah. Why not? Yes. 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 Yeah. Here we go. But, I like this talk, Nori. But yeah, but like particularly your your game. Is it? Has anything changed? Like because a lot more across the pitch, particularly uh, last night's game. Is that something that like uh, Mini and Gaza sort of said about you to do to kind of swap sides, things like that? A lot more movement. Um, yeah, yeah. M- Mina's always going on to me about those runs making across the pitch. He's always on to me about that. So I just put that into my game, took it on board, and just done what he says. Really, yeah. nothing, nothing too spectacular. So, so which side would you prefer, on the left or the right? On the pitch, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on the pitch. No, no answer. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> no, I mean you had, a, you had a big hand in the um in the second goal. Um, out yeah. There. On the left, and yeah, so it's no coincidence, you know, that your form's picked up the same mm. same time as the, the team, in my my view. And yeah, we've had a few players out recently, and uh, you've stepped up, mate. So well done. Yeah, thank you, thank you very yeah. much. No, you have a bit, and you, you know, you obviously you you're getting goals now, right? I mean, have you <laughs> yeah. got any any sort of target? You, you... Um, I, I, I want to get, I want got... to get. Go on, sorry, no. <laughs> I've I've three now. Three goals. Thank you, Mel. Red, Redly, yeah. all against the same season. team. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, all against the same team. So I want to score against someone else. Yeah, that's my thing, number yeah. one goal. You're a one team wonder. <laughs> yeah, I just want to <laughs> score against someone else. And then before March, I want to have six in total. So I have to score three more. 
And by the end of the season, Mino set me a target of 10. So mm. I have to reach that. You weren't far off yeah. last night in the first half, was you? Goalie tipped you over. Pardon? In the first half, goalie tipped you over, didn't he? That was you, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah that was me. Crossbar. I wish yeah. he would have just let it in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Make it easier. Yeah. And, uh, what? Yeah, it was a shot, wasn't it? Yeah, Nori, talking about that goalie, what was wrong with his kicks? They, they, they were all over the place. Like In the first half, he was all right. I think because you guys were so close to him, he, you just got in his head. But that's all I can say. Because after the game, we were all saying, like, he just went downhill in the second half when the fans were so close to him. So that's good. Maybe you guys should keep doing that, throwing beers at him and stuff. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you, you can't ask him to do that. You've got to do maybe what you've got to do. Was drink, maybe he was drinking the beers and he got pissed. That's, that's yeah, it. something. Like. No, but it was like, yeah. man, it was like, like, he was doing all these squib kicks and, uh, oh, well. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I don't know about any of these chants that were said to him. I got no idea. I didn't hear any, but uh, it's yeah, something because his game went downhill. Yeah. Did. There's unsighted. Like, remember, like, uh, what's his name? Wenger used to say, oh, I was unsighted. I didn't see it. Well, I, I unheard it. I couldn't. I, you know. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair <laughs> enough. But, yeah, I mean, like, so, I mean, the boys must be proper, proper buzzing now. I mean, we've got um, Cole Shorten coming up. Uh, yeah. away game where uh, us fans can't do anything. Uh, I, I think, are we allowed to actually go in the ground, George? There are a lot of rules. There's a lot of and rules. <laughs> but rules. Rules are there to be broken. So that's, that's, that's yeah, where we'll be Yeah, we'll be, we'll, we'll, have, we'll have a good time. We'll have a good time. There's plenty noisy lot going up. So we'll make lots of noise and make sure the team feels the support. Yes. So, that's yeah. good. So the boys pump for Carl Shorten. Another three points. Yeah. Everyone's always pumped, but it's like, there's nothing, I don't think anyone's overly excited. It's, we all feel like we still haven't done enough yet. We still want more. So it's not like anyone's like, yeah, over the top. Everyone's just still locked in and uh, ready to do business. You've got a good point. I actually said last night that you're, they're all grind, you're grinding three points out, but you're not totally setting the world on fire, which is really good sign. There's still, yeah, still room for I mean. improvement. You know, when you come, you've got all still teams above you to play yet as well and that that has been a bit of a stumbling block into you know having won as many games against team above us as perhaps we could have done so yeah now's the time you know it's coming up exactly yeah and it's and everyone's beatable aren't they, in that league yeah it's so, very true I think so. but yeah no one's no <laughs> one's like thinking too far ahead we're just taking it a game at a time cool. just trying to get the results mm. that's good what well, nori what about jake's goal <laughs> It was a fluke. He didn't mean it. No, it, was <laughs> it was a fluke. It, yeah, when I, ru- I run over, yeah, and he was talking to one of the other players, and he's like, "What a goal!" It was uh, really <laughs> funny. He pulled this funny voice off. It was anyway. You can tell he, yeah, he's he he did not mean. I always tell him to shoot with his left. He always mm. cuts in and tries to shoot with his right. Mm. It worked that time. Mm. But even after the goal, I was like, "Swing your left foot." Like, no reason for you to go <laughs> outside the boot. I always give a stick for that. So. But yeah, it's yeah. good that he's scoring. Mm. Good lad, Jake. Yeah, no, top. Yeah, yeah the top good guy. Player. Right, lads. Anyone else would ask uh, Nori? Yeah, I have. Um, well, how's what's the Bermuda situation? You're getting any call ups? The uh, reason I ask, I noticed they've got a couple of games at the end of March. Yeah. Um. We we don't know who's going yet, but um, we're in the process. They're in the process of picking the team, so I probably won't find out until middle of March. But yeah, it might be. I might be gone. No, now's well, the, the games are the now. Now's the time to start playing crap, mate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then you can pick it up once they say, "I don't need him." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those games are from the. Uh, I heard sixteenth to the thirtieth of March. Yeah, twenty fifth, twenty eighth of March. Guyana, isn't it? One of them. That's... Oh wow! Yeah, big game. But we, I think we'll be going back. To train or, or something, so oh, yeah, yeah. might be going back a bit early. Yeah, uh, yeah. Oh well, well, hopefully it snows hard over here, and then all the games get postponed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you can come back to a full fixture for us. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. Uh, as the family over there, anyway, uh, Nori, oh, yeah. everyone well, yeah. <laughs> John's um, obviously is very interested, but no, honestly, mum's yeah. all right. Everything good. Mum's motorbike yeah. like is that? She's all right. I don't. I don't know. I don't really, to be honest, I don't really speak to them that much. Oh, like, oh yeah, my mum wouldn't allow I that. Say, <laughs> I say hello in that, but we don't really, 
<laughs> we don't really call. But I've been away since I was 14, so it's, it's normal for us. Like, it's not, it's just what it is. Mm. But yeah, everyone's all right. Yeah, good. Doing well. No, good, good, good. George, anything to say? No, just keep up the good work and yeah, good mm. luck getting a getting a call up. Every, we'll be gutted to see you go, but um, yeah, you getting a call up is a is a massive honour, isn't it? So yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Best, best of luck with that. It'd be amazing to see. Thank you, you very much. Yeah, we go on some dodgy stream to watch you play in the middle of the night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll get, we'll get it on in a pilot bar. Get it on a stream. <laughs> I did watch, yeah. I think there was one back in the summer, it was like nil-nil, and it was like three in the morning, and he didn't even play. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. That was, yeah, yeah. long game. I, you was, I did see you running up and down the line. <laughs> yeah, it was a very long game. Yeah. I think, yeah, long game. Uh, no, good luck, mate. I hope it works out. That'd be good. Thank you very much. Yeah, obviously, Nori, please pass on to all the, all the lads and, and the coaching staff, like, you know, all, all us fans. We really, we love you all. We love you all, and... um you're doing a grand job just keep it up you know mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Um, everyone knows that already I feel like Hastings is just, everyone's a, got a good bond with each other fans and players so we all feel the love yeah good good uh, right then well look, Mal, Mal, look at that face on Mal he's done um, I'm down <laughs> Nori knows Mal Bailey I don't need to say <laughs> well listen thank you Wendy uh, uh, Mal George and especially Nori thanks for coming on uh, and no I'll problem. see you at the game. Yeah. Cheers, guys. Cheers, guys. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.